I'm Melissa, the founder of ProudDogMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular here, you may realize that things look a little different behind me, and that's because we're normally in my kitchen whipping up some healthy dog treats. But today we have a different type of DIY dog project in store. We are going to be making something called a snuffle mat. So it's an interactive dog toy where it has a whole bunch of fleece strips and you hide treats underneath the strips and your dog has to use his nose and that like tracking ability to go and find all of the treats, really a brain game for our dogs. So wonderful for that. And they also have a lot of fun and it's just a great way to keep them stimulated and active and busy. So, all right, let's get crafting. All right, to make our DIY snuffle mat, we're gonna need a couple of things. So the first thing is going to be some fleece. I've got some old fleece blankets here. So if you've got some blankies that you don't mind cutting up and giving to your dog, you can just go ahead and grab those. And then the next thing you're gonna need is some sort of a base. So traditionally, uh, people use a sink mat as their base for their snuffle mat. They have a really good weight to them, they're very sturdy, and also, and this is the biggest benefit, they already have holes throughout the entire mat. But I totally understand that not everyone has a sink mat just sitting in their house waiting to be used for crafting purposes. So if you don't and you wanna make this right now, you can easily replicate that with cardboard. So this actually was an Amazon box that I used a box cutter and I just carefully cut out a solid piece. And then I went around, so about every inch you wanna make with a Sharpie marker, a little dot, and that's gonna be where you're going to make some holes. And you can easily make holes with a screwdriver. And I think that that is a really great alternative if you don't have a sink mat. It's time to cut the fleece. Aim to make each strip about one inch wide and about six to eight inches long. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we have all of our fleece strips cut, we are going to take them and weave them through our mat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one end, push it through one hole, and then we're gonna take the other end and the hole right next to it, it is gonna be strung through there. And then we're gonna just make a little tie on the other side. I'm gonna do that same exact process in this same exact direction throughout the whole entire mat. This is looking pretty good. Now with our other color, we're going to go in the opposite direction. Since there's already a lot of fabric on here, things may start to feel a little tight. So you can either use a capped pen or a baby screwdriver or something else that you have lying around to help you push the fabric through. All right, we are done. And here is what our snuffle mat looks like. How cool is that? It's all filled with the fleece strips. Here's what it looks like in the back. You can really get a good sense of that pattern, right? So one color in one direction, the other color in the other direction. Pretty easy to remember, right? So next thing you wanna do is give it to your dog. I mean, first we're gonna fill it with some treats, obviously. And I'm just gonna break them into little pieces. Now, if your dog has never done a snuffle mat before, I would recommend just putting some right on the top to let your dog see what is inside, right? Like let them see the treats. But once they get really good at the snuffle mat and they know kind of what they're doing, I would say get on in there, put some down at the bottom, make them dig. Here we go, I'm gonna give it to my dog to play with. If you think your dog would love a snuffle mat like this, give the video a big thumbs up. And if you think you're gonna make a snuffle mat like this, also give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Happy crafting.